Hey guys, so today I'll be talking about a program that can run Windows on your Mac. Um, this particular program is called Parallels Desktop and uh, it's very similar to um, a Mac program called uh, Bootcamp which allows you to run Windows programs. However, the advantage of uh, Parallels Desktop instead of uh, Bootcamp is that you can use Parallels Desktop while in your Mac environment which is not possible with Bootcamp because with Bootcamp you will have to activate or run it as you um, shut down and restart your computer so it's like having a PC uh, overall however the disadvantage of Parallels Desktop compared to Bootcamp would be that high definition games which require a video card will not work because Parallels Desktop you know, only works um, um, drivers. The drivers are not connected with this uh, program as it's only an emulation of Windows. So, yep, I speak of these based on my personal experience. So, let's get started. So, number one, you'll have to download two things before we can get started. Um, I gave you the links below, so make sure you read the description. Um, the first thing you're going to have to download would be Parallels Desktop 6. Uh, this would be the first one in the link. Um, you have to install it first, so just follow the instructions here below. And once you've installed it, you have to, to uh, download the second one as well, which would be Windows XP. So I'll show you how it will look like. Uh, sorry, this one's a mistake. Yeah, you get the point. Um, you'll have Windows XP. So once you downloaded that those two um, files, you have to start Parallels Desktop. So um, once you have uh, started Parallels Desktop, um, as you can see, I already have mine installed. You go to um, File and uh, select New and you'll come across this page. Um, based on my personal experience at first I did not, um, I forgot or did not know that we had to download actually uh, Windows XP or 7 or Vista in order to have it installed. I, I just pressed continue here with this uh, Machita DVD-R which is actually obviously wrong so you click this one, you long press and you choose choose an image file and this window will appear you look for where you have placed your downloaded file from um, Pirate Bay so I put mine on my uh, desktop to make it easier and it's here you choose the disk image XP disk image and continue Uh, for this one, you'll ha just have to deselect this and press continue. You don't have to worry about this one. Um, this is not really, uh, this stage is uh, basically up to you, but I chose mine uh, to be run like a Mac. I don't really know the difference. You can name it. This one is only useful when you plan on uh, having multiple um, um, operating systems installed and you press create and when you do that you'll have this um, window here so I won't install it because I already have it and when you install it you will have something that looks like this Sorry, just and uh, yeah, it should work. Um, the advantage of this um, parallel desktop, in my opinion, would be that you can run uh, Express, uh, Outlook, Microsoft Word, um, anything that you can think of actually that you can't really use on a Mac and that most people are using today. You can run Java as well. 
simple games. Sim simple games too, because as I said, you can't run high definition games because the video cards are not connected to the max driver. So as you can see here, already um, customized my desktop. It's kind of laggy because I'm using a screen flow. So yep, um, you can actually change the size. You can change the screen resolution of your um, windows with this desk uh, through your desktop. Yeah, like how you would usually do it. Um, you can have it uh, full screen. Yeah. Full screen, yeah, and here it's like having a Windows, a PC, yeah, without without having the trouble to restart and uh, choose boot camp, which would be really a hassle. So as you can see, I'm going to show you the available programs that we have. You can use Outlook Express. Um, this Windows that I gave you, the link, it doesn't provide you with um, Microsoft Word, so I'm afraid you're going to have to download those programs yourself. Um, you have to download them separately. You cannot download them using the uTorrent or MiniTorrent on your Mac. You have to use a MiniTorrent on your Windows emulation because you won't be able to transfer um, the file, Yeah, sadly. However, you can use a, a USB and uh, transfer your file through that, you know, it's like having two different computers. Yeah, and that's uh, pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Please comment, rate, and um, subscribe if you can. Thanks, and uh, have a nice day.